Student's Book, page 20. 3. My Friend Meg Meg is my best friend. All our classmates like her because she's always happy and she's very funny. She can do long sums and spell long words. She can ride a bike very fast too. But Meg is always losing things. I can't do long sums. I can't spell long words. And I can't ride my bike very fast. But I can always find Meg's things for her. Meg phones me or I phone her every day. It was Sunday yesterday. Meg phoned me in the morning. She was angry. She said, I can't find my pencils. I need them for maths tomorrow. I looked in my bag. I looked in our hall. I looked on the table. I looked on our wall. I looked by the door. Then I looked on the floor. But I can't find my pencils. Oh, Meg, I said. Go and look under your bed. Meg loves reading comics and writing funny stories about all kinds of people. She's good at drawing too. She likes drawing funny clothes. Meg likes wearing funny clothes and hats too. But she doesn't like wearing shoes. She's always taking off her shoes. She loses her shoes or her trainers every day because she puts them in lots of different places. Meg phoned me in the afternoon yesterday. She said, I can't find my trainers. I need them for our sports lesson tomorrow. I looked in the cupboard, then under the stairs. I looked on the sofa and under the chairs. I looked in the box and I looked by my socks. But I can't find my trainers. Oh, Meg, I said, go and look in your garden. Meg loves working on the computer because she likes finding out about things. She likes reading about different kinds of animals and about film stars and pop stars and music. She's really good at music. She has piano and guitar lessons. She has singing lessons at school too. Meg always does her music homework. But then she loses it. She loses it because she puts books, comics or a board game on top of it. Meg phoned me in the evening yesterday. She said, I can't find my homework. I need it for music tomorrow. I looked on Dad's desk, then by his guitar. I looked in Mum's bag and in the back of our car. I looked in our kitchen and under the kitten, but I can't find my homework. Oh, Meg, 
I said. Go and look by your laptop. It's Monday now. I'm putting my things in my school bag. I've got to run and catch the bus to school. Meg phoned me again this morning. She said, Hey, I found my pencils. They were under my bed. Thanks. I found my trainers. They were in the garden. Thank you. I found my homework too. It was by my laptop. Thanks for being my friend. You're brilliant. You're really cool. See you at the bus stop.